Hello. Welcome to sunny Fort Myers, Florida. Filming in front of one of the ugliest painted houses in the world, my neighbor's house. Well, he's a war veteran and he's over 90 years old, so I can't blame him for his lack of color coordination and poor taste. Wow, ugly, isn't it? Um, I wanted to tell you a dirty little secret that camera stores have been pulling for ages. I was recently reminded of it and I haven't made a video about it because uh, my uh, friend of uh, 30 some years uh, called up a large uh, camera retailer in New York. It wasn't B&H or Autorama, it was another one. And uh, he was going to order a, a Fuji uh, X-T10 and uh, Anyway, he was, uh, he asked, he made the mistake of uh, not being 100% certain on what he wanted. He was until he made a, he asked a question. And then he was told that, uh, wow, you know, you should really consider the Panasonic, I think it's like the PZ-1000. It, it, it's some obnoxious piece of crap that nobody's really shooting. I think it was a PZ-1000. I can't remember the exact model number. I'm familiar with it, but I forget the model designation. It's a piece of crap. But here is what camera stores do, and uh, I've also recently, I used to work in retail uh, camera stores back at Beach Photo and Video. We did it back then, that was ages ago, is that there are certain uh, bunny points that retailers get uh, for peddling stuff that are slow movers, crap that nobody wants, or kind of bomb, you know, bombers, you know, it just kind of uh, POSs, basically. You get a lot of extra points on them. One of the ones I recently confirmed from a local retail camera store, the manager himself told me that uh, the Sigma fart lenses, they have a, a significant uh, back end on uh, sales of those lenses, so if they push them, they uh, actually get more bunny points. Now what bunny points means is that you could get commission points or the store could get uh, a certain kickback every month if they uh, you know, push a lot of... Uh, the Sigma fart lenses. Uh, the same is true of certain cameras, including that Panasonic model. You know, nobody's shooting that piece of crap camera. Anyway, he he didn't order the camera that he he was very serious about getting. And he called me and I told him what the lowdown was. I, mean, I don't care what he buys, but uh, you know, I clued him on, clued him in on what was going on, and that's something you need to be concerned about if you ever ask for help or assistance from a retail camera store. You are going to get screwed. Screwed. Um, unless you got a close friend there or something, or somebody there that you can really trust, and they really don't exist. So they're actually kind of worse than lot lizards at cars, uh, cars, uh, used car dealerships. Um, used car dealerships want to push anything. Um, it is sometimes true that if they push a certain uh, used car, that they'll get more rewards or whatnot. But this is true all the time of retail photography stores. So it's something you really got to be careful about. If you get a recommendation from a retail uh, camera store, you're getting screwed. You are getting screwed. Um, yeah, I kind of spent the day out today at the uh, Hispanic flea market and uh, picked up a bunch of fruit and some local mangoes and some carambolas, which you know is star fruit. And uh, it's just... Of course, I used to live here. My house is just about 100 feet that way behind this uh, yellow house of my neighbor's. He's never here, by the way, except for like three weeks out of the year. He's a really old guy, but uh, very short, too. Really nice person. Obviously, extremely ugly house. It, uh, I'll be making, uh, I don't know, I should be cranking out two or three videos a day while I'm down here. But, you know, when I get back in a few weeks, you know, things will pick up back to normal, so... Anyway, be wary, never take that noise over there, by the way. There is a, uh, a church, and they're over there singing and thumping and dancing or whatever the hell it is they're doing. So that's what that noise is over there. Anyway, um, let me know what I can do to help you. I'm here to assist, and uh, thank you for watching another video from the crazy, tattooed, angry photographer. I'll catch you later. Bye. Don't trust camera retail stores. Don't do it.